Today I'm going to show you how to fix turn signals flashing too fast on an F-250 after installing LED bulbs. <laughs> Around 2004 or 2005, Ford started checking the amperage draw on the lighting circuits from the smart junction box on vehicles. On the older models, Ford usually referred to it as a gem module and on the newer stuff it's referred to as a smart junction box. And this usually includes features and functions that can be toggled off and on with as-built data or with configuration data. On these type of systems there's no longer a turn signal flasher. The turn signal switch or the multifunction switch doesn't power the turn signals directly. Instead it's just used as an input into the smart junction box or SJB. On the output side of the SJB it actually monitors the amperage draw on the lighting circuits. So you can run into all kinds of strange problems if you do anything that affects or changes the amperage draw of the circuit, whether it's increasing it or reducing it. When turn signals are requested, the smart junction box flashes them at about 80 times a minute, slightly faster than once a second. When the SJB believes a bulb is out in the turn signal circuit, and it determines this by a reduced amperage draw on the circuit, but when it believes that, it will flash them at 160 times per minute, or a little faster than once every half second. This is called the bulb outage feature and the only reason this is there is to let the driver know that they have a turn signal that's not working. Now because reduced current draw has no harmful effects on the module or the circuit um, and also because trucks are often fitted with flatbeds or utility boxes which have all kinds of different lighting configurations on them they allow this feature to be turned off or on inside the SJB. To fix turn signal indicators that are flashing too fast because we've installed LED bulbs or changed something in the lighting circuit that's made up draw less amperage, we're going to need to go into the SJB configuration data and make some changes. Now the example we're going to be using here today is a 2010 F-250 Super Duty and the customer has installed LED bulbs in the rear tail lamps and that's what's causing them to flash too fast. Now this is what it looks like when the module believes there's a bulb out or it's sensing less than normal current draw. We're going to be using Forescan today to fix this problem or reconfigure this module. And I do believe you need the paid version of Forescan to do this. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and click on the connect button here towards the lower left corner. And this vehicle is not equipped with navigation. Okay, and right now it's identifying the vehicle and checking which modules are on this vehicle and reading those. Uh, this will take just a minute. And I don't think we need to save the profile for this vehicle. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the sixth icon down on the left side of the screen. It looks like a computer chip. Okay, and this is going to show you a list of modules on this vehicle that you can change the configuration of. Okay, and we want to change the configuration of the gem module or the smart junction box, whichever you'd rather call it. And we do not want the one that says as-built data after it. As-built data is hexadecimal coding that turns features off and on in the modules or configures certain features in the module. And you can use that sometimes if a feature that you're trying to change is not in the standard menu as far as things you can change on it. Um, that's not what we're doing here today. So we're going to select the very bottom one in the list, gem module configuration and there it read the data off the module and loaded this menu. Okay, and in this list, the third one up from the bottom is going to be stop and tail lamp outage configuration, and that's what we're going to want to go to. Okay, so after we have selected that, we need to click the edit selected button at the lower left of the screen, and that will open up this pop-up menu that has all of the possible selections for that item. And we're going to change that selection to lamp outage turned off. And then we're going to hit the checkbox. Okay, and the last thing we need to do is select the right button towards the left bottom of the screen. And that is right as in it's going to write everything you just changed to the module's memory. And it's going to ask us if we're sure we want to make these changes. And we're going to select the checkbox for yes. Okay, it's writing the data to that block in the module. Okay, and it's done, and it wants us to cycle the key off and then back on. So we're going to go ahead and cycle the key off, give it just a second, and cycle the key back on. Okay, we'll go ahead and click the OK button here, and that's it. We're all done.
Let's go ahead and try the turn signals once and make sure they work right. Okay, and that looks correct to me. I think we're back to blinking 80 times a second like we should be. And it does still have the LED bulbs in it. If you found this helpful or interesting, please click the like button down below. I've always got more automotive videos coming up, interesting things I've ran across, how things work. Um, I'm a pretty firm believer if you understand how something works, you can fix anything. So please subscribe. We're also going to be seeing some project vehicles I'm working on in some future videos. If you've got any additional thoughts or comments on this video, please tell me about it in the comments section down below. As always, I hope you have a great week and take care.